All right, we're over top of C3I Magazine, Battle for Kursk, issue number 34. Now, you can see the cover for the Battle of Kursk game, which we will get to, but inside is a surprise. It's Firebase Vietnam. You can see it's a solitaire game. You can see it comes with counters that come in the counter sheet. Very small footprint. You do have to provide your own dice, but most of us have at least four six-sided dice. Um, and if you don't, they're pretty easy to get. So what are we looking at in here? You can already see we've got a small amount of counters. We've got some pastel kind of art. Uh, we've got Pascal. Uh, Tupi is the designer, and uh, intriguingly, C3i Good to Go Series Volume 1. So does that mean we're going to get uh, more quick solitaire light games? I don't know. So we'll have to figure out. So what you're looking at on the inside is this is your game area. I'll come back to that in a second. You have three distinct zones and you'll be pledging dice into these areas. You also have literally one page of rules. The rules will walk you through everything you need to do with your dice rolling. Yes, it's a lighter game. There's a two player option and there's some special rules depending on if you get doubles or sometimes even triples. Um, so real quick, what are you trying to do? Well, VC will be coming into your outer perimeter um, you'll know that based on how far your uh, talk, your tactical operational center has gone with getting outside support to help and prevent from being overrun. So you're trying to win by pushing your outside support from zero to 10. If you can push it to 10, you win. But as you push it up, more and more VC squads will be coming in at your outer perimeter. In the meantime, you will start with a number 10 on your defensive zone. If the defensive zone falls to zero, you lose, you've been overrun, you're out of the picture. So sometimes you're pledging dice to hopefully get a three, four, five, or six. You can pledge all four of your dice or you can pledge one or two or three. And if you can get a three, four, five, or six in that zone when you roll, you'll move your perimeter zone back up. You're bringing up ammo. You're pulling out wounded. You're repositioning folks into holes in your line. If you want to try to take out the guys that are attacking you, you'll pledge dice in in this zone, and you'll take them out, uh, one unit out, if you can get a three, four, five, or six. And there's a nice little bonus that as you move up on your elimination area, when you get to 10, you'll get a bronze medal and you'll get to take some limited. You can only do, there's several actions, but you can only do them three times in a game. Um, well, let me explain that better. There's limited actions. You can't do them twice in a row and the actions can only be used a max of three times per game. So um, you may want to fix your perimeter and move up three. Well, that's good, but if you then get this up to the elimination area of 10 again, well, that's what you did on your last round, so you can't do it again. You, maybe you want to move up your support one, or maybe you want to uh, skip a phase for the attack, or maybe you want to eliminate all the VC units that are on your outer perimeter. But you've got to remember, out of all those actions, you can only do each of them three times per game. So if I've improved my defensive perimeter three times already, uh, three different times within one game, I can't do it anymore. I'm gonna have to do it the slow way by pledging dice and rolling. Let's go in, we're gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna just walk you through a game and uh, I'll show you a little bit more how it works. Uh, there's some issues with rolling doubles. Sometimes it's good, four, fives, and six. Sometimes it's bad, one, twos, and threes. Um, and you can get triples, which are always good for you, and they help you get more support. So let's go in and do a little series play. Um, let's just say I'm going to get some support coming in. Obviously, we're starting to get attacked on our outer perimeter. I'm going to pledge two dice um, to take those attackers out and two dice in our talk. 
I can roll these in any order I wish, but I've got to roll the group. And I could pledge all four if I wanted, but let's see. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to roll my support and we're going to try to get some support coming in. So I'll roll. We've got a five and a one. So right down in here, you can see I needed fives or sixes. So this goes up one. I've increased my support by one. Now I've got this single VC unit that is coming in and attacking my line. So I need to roll. Now when I'm rolling on this, it's not too active, but that's fine. We're going to keep it right in there. I like when the dice bounce around a little bit, but whatever. Uh, so let's see. We're going to roll, and now I need a three, four, five, or a six. I got a two and a five. Now that is sufficient to take out one unit. There's only one unit in here at this point in time, so he is out of action. Now there's a very cool aspect to this dice rolling. Doubles can come in. Now, if I get double ones or double twos, I actually will add another VC unit uh, to the perimeter and they'll increase their attack that exact round. Now, if I get um, double, uh, sorry, double ones, twos, or threes, if I get double fours, fives, or sixes, they call it Didi Mao, which I have a Vietnamese buddy. He says that means run, run fast, <laughs> basically is what it means. But in the game terms, it will allow me to remove a VC squad from my outer perimeter. If I roll triples of any type, I get what's called a Bravo Zulu, and I get to increase my support by one. So you can see, if I'm rolling just two dice in two different sections, I'm never going to get triples. So you start ending up with some interesting dynamics that can come just on how you place the dice. So we're just going to play through. It's actually a very simple game. Um, and let's see, I don't need to do anything to shore up the perimeter yet. Uh, we start the next round and a single VC unit comes in. That's again based down here. One squad of VC assault shows up. So I've got to figure out what I'm going to do. Let's be a little bit crazy. I'm only going to put one die up in the elimination. We'll hope I get a three, four, or five. I'm going to go ahead and put three down in my talk. Um... And we'll just roll this one first. And we got a six, VC units out. So now we will come in and roll for the talk. We roll for the talk, ugh, horrible. So you're gonna see a problem right here. I got a three and then two twos. The doubles, the pair of twos is going to mean an additional VC unit comes on. I've already rolled for my destruction of that area. So that guy is basically going to come through and do damage to my lines, my defensive, my defensive zone. So for every number that's on a VC unit, whether it's a, a two and the flip side, or sorry, a one or the flip side's a two, it will do that damage to my zone. So I'm going to go down one in the zone because of that guy. Um, so now we start the next round. I've left one VC in that area. So we're going to come in and we have to add another, again, because of the assault level of the VC that are coming in, which is based on my progress down in the talk. So now what do we deal? I also could have just flipped that to a two, I guess. Um, I need to get rid of these guys. I don't want them lingering around. Um, and let me pledge three and let me just put one in the defensive zone. Um, let's go ahead and roll defensive zone first. Hello. Uh, three. I needed a three, four, five. It goes up. Great. That comes off. Now let's see if I can get rid of these guys. I got a six, a two, and a five. That's perfect. I've destroyed these two units. So we come down, we put one more VC back in. This time we're going to be a little risky. So our defensive perimeter has been reinforced. I'm going to just pledge one die to the outer perimeter and three die to my talk. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. A one. We do not. 
Uh, we're now going to roll for the talk. Hopefully we can improve support. We come in, we got a six, a one, and a two. We go up at one level. Uh, we're going to take one damage to the perimeter because of this VC unit that's still up here. And we're going to get another one that comes in. So that'll flip over to a two. Uh, we're back to the same problem. I'm going to do a one and a three. Uh, no improvement here whatsoever. We come in, let's get this fully out of the way. And we've got a five, another five and a two. And this is excellent. So not only would I have destroyed these two units, which I did, but because of this bonus, the two fives, had there been a third unit there, um, I would have been able to increase and take out one more under the DD Mal. And so I, uh, double fours, fives, sixes, help me. Double ones, twos, and threes hurt. And if I can never get triples, I go up one on support. So we go into the next round. So we're at, oh, and I've been forgetting my destruction, my elimination of the VC squads. Let's see. So I did two there. Uh, I think I had two, three, five. I think I have six. If I'm wrong, I'll put a note up there. But what you're going to see is I want to get this up to 10 because then I get what's called the bronze star medal. And when I get there, I will go over the options. There's uh, several little things I can do that are special. We'll cover those at, this at that time. So let's see if we can get this talk going again. I'm going to put three down in the talk. I'm going to put one over in the VC. Let's see if I can eliminate a one. I did not eliminate. So hopefully I can get some doubles here. Come on, give me double sixes. All right, we got a five, we got a six, and we got a three. Sorry for the camera bump. So we're down in this area. That means two of these will go up. One, two. I'm now in the four zone, which is a problem you'll see, because now I'm going to add two. I take one damage to the defensive perimeter, down to eight. We start the very next round, and two units are going to come in. So now I have three. Let's go all out wild. Um, I'm going to roll all four dice on my outer perimeter. I uh, feel like we're starting to get rushed. And let's see what we can get here. So all four dice. Uh, what do we get? Ooh, not good at all. We got a three and a six, which means we would eliminate two. But we're going to then gain one back. So, but I've eliminated two. One, two. Um, we would just get rid of this unit, but then we're going to get one to come back. That means he's going to do two damage to my defensive perimeter. I'm down to six. So now we have some problems uh, because we're going to add two more squads. Boom, they're in. So now I've got four up there and my defensive perimeter zone is dwindling. It's dwindling in a big way. Um, I think... We're going to try all four up in this elimination zone again. If we can get this bonus, if we can just get rid of two of them, there's a bonus that'll show you that under the bronze medal, that'll be nice. The bronze star. So let's see. Let's hope we at least eliminate two. Oh, we got one on the floor. So we got a four and a five. We've eliminated two. Let's see what this is. Hey, another five. So this is phenomenal. So this is a miss. This gets rid of three, and because of the double fives, I actually get rid of the fourth one. So they all go, boom, that was beautiful. I've now eliminated one, two, all right? That just sends it to zero. I've maxed out, so I don't get to then pop it up two more. At least that's how I play it. But, so now we're gonna talk about this. So I've got it down to the zero track. I can do several things. I can eliminate all VC squads currently in the outer zone. There are none. That could be good, but there are none currently, so I'm not going to use that. I can carry out uh, three defensive tactics. Sorry. I can carry out three defensive tasks, which means I can increase my line by three. I believe I'm going to do that, but we'll come back. I could ignore phase one on the next turn. So we're going to add two squads. I could just ignore the first phase, and that is the VC Assault. Um, maybe handy, but not right now. 
Um, and then I could, um, contact has been established and I could increase support by one. Um, that is huge, but we're going to go ahead and take the, um, three defensive tasks. So we're going to go one, two, three. We've basically really got these guys coming in on the perimeter. And now we're doing some reloading, bringing up ammo, bringing back the wounded. So you can see why getting the uh, bonus can be super, super handy. So we start two squads are going to come in on the attack. We're going to be a little conservative and push our luck again. Let's try one down here, one down here. We're going to roll in this order. We need a five or a six. We got a six. Great. We come up to five down in the talk. Get that out. Let's see if we can bring our defensive perimeter up to 10. Two. No, we only needed a three, three, four, five, or six. We missed it. And let's see here. Hopefully we can pick up um, three, four, five, or six, double them up maybe, and a six and a one. So one of them is gone and one of them stays. So we did one elimination. We're going to take one damage. Uh, we then start the next round. So they're going to get two units coming in. So now we have three up there. And I think we're going to go for a f all four dice in that area. Maybe we'll get some triples. Let's see what we get. Uh, yes, we got doubles at least. A three and a five. So th uh, two, th two fives and a three. That takes out all three. We would have been able to even take out four. Boom, they're off, but we've taken three out. One, two, three, not bad. We're getting close to bringing it up to our defense very again. We now start another round. Again, because we're down in this area on support, two VC squads are coming at us. We're gonna come in and we're gonna do this and this again. Let's see if we can move up in the talk. A four, that's a miss, unfortunately. Let's see if we can increase our defensive. A three, yes, beautiful. And let's see if we can take these two guys out. A five, stop moving, and a three, we got them. All right, so we got two, we go up two, up to six. These would come off, but you know they're gonna bring one right back on. And that was great, because here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pledge, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Let's see if we can do that again. And let's go in the same order. So. We got a three, doesn't help there. All right, let's see if we can get that defensive per perimeter up. A six, yes, we're maxed out. We can't even get that any higher. That's excellent. Let's come in and see what our frontline troops can do. And two threes, yikes, that's terrible. Well, well, yeah, it's not terrible, it's bad. We're gonna eliminate two. The threes eliminate one, two, but unfortunately, that is uh, called Charlie, and I add a VC squad to the outer perimeter. So, one, he's going to get through. That brings us down. We bring on a new unit, a two, and now we're kind of back to the situation here. Let's pledge all four. Um, if these get out of hand, you lose quick. Um, whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, it was a six, too. I hate errant rolls. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Two, one, three, six. We get rid of two of them. So one, two, we're back up to 10. That guy's going to get through, but I have a few options. This will come down to zero. Um, so I could eliminate. We know I could eliminate this guy up here. Uh, that's just one. I'm doing pretty good here. I can improve by three here. Uh, that would be wasted because I'm only going to go up one anyway, and then it's going to come down. You know what? I'm, I could have ignored the phase next round, the VC attack phase. Let's take the talk. The talk's going to go up. It's still going to add. I'm going to take the damage from this unit. We're going to go ahead and add in. We're still at two. So we've got two coming in at us, or three total. I'm going to pledge all four dice again up here to try to take these guys out. You do not want to let them get out of hand. And let's see what we get. Uh, oh, Lord, this is bad. We're going to take two out. Boom. But I've rolled double threes, double twos. That's Charlie. So not only are two out, two come back in. 
whoo, which means we're going to go down three. So one, two, three. Um, yikes. Big problem because now we're going to add two more. This is where things get out of hand. So I'm going to pledge all four dice. Um, things are going to get crazy here if I don't roll, hopefully, some double fives, double sixes, double fours. Um, otherwise, we're going to really be in trouble. Come on, double fives. Give me some Didi Mao. Ugh, we got a five and two threes. So again, we're in the problem. That's going to eliminate three. One, two, three. So three are gone. But because of my double threes, one comes back. That's going to bring down that hold the line defensive perimeter. And we're going to start the next round. We're nowhere close to getting to um, the bonus. This is where I would choose to wipe everybody out there or even have an all quiet time to increase my defensive perimeter. We've got to pledge all four again. So now we're stuck. I've got to hope to take these guys out and not get a bunch of doubles um, that are ones, twos, and threes. Come on, give me some five, sixes, and fours. Oh, well, this is not too bad. So we've got the six, the five, the three, the three. We're going to get rid of four, but because of the double threes, we bring back on another squad, which means we're going down two. Ah, oh, we're so close to losing. Um, let's see, how many did I destroy? Uh, four. One, two, three, four. Goodness. Um, so, we're going to go in, and two more are coming because we're on to the next turn. I'm rolling all four again. If I can get just one kill, I'm going to wipe all them out because I'm so close. Ooh, or do I improve three? Well, let's see what I get. Let's see what I get. So, we're coming in. Come on. And we got a three, four, six. Perfect. Perfect. Well, we're going to take one hit, but this is going to be good for us. So we've eliminated three. Let's get these guys out. So the elimination goes up just the one, and we come down. This will be damaged one. We now have that choice again. What each bronze star reward can be taken, cannot be taken more than three times in a game. Yeah, there we go. And each Bronze Star reward cannot be taken twice in a row. No! Okay, that means I... Oh, wait. Yeah, last time I improved down here. Perfect. Because I'm going to move up the defensive zone. One, two, three. Defensive zone is moved up. We're going to leave him up there. We're going to add in that extra unit that comes in because we're still down at two squads. Um, I'm not messing around. We're going to try to take those guys out. I need to wipe them out so I can come back and hopefully improve all four dice outer perimeter. We've got a six, a six. Excellent. Oh no, two twos. Uh, so those will basically cancel each other out. But first let's just, uh, two are destroyed. One, two. Well, we get the bonus three because, uh, destroyed, eliminated. However, because of the double twos, one comes back or one comes in, does damage, takes us out. We're in the exact same situation again. Uh, and if we get to the elimination marker, we can't use defensive zone. So I'm going all four again. Come on. Sixes and a three and a two. Perfect. Finally there. Um, so I'm going to eliminate all three. One, two, three. They're gone. I could have gotten one more. Um, and now we're starting clean. So um, there's only two in there. <clears throat> I need to improve. I'm going to just risk a little bit, and I'm going to put the other two down here in the defensive zone. Let's roll that first. A four and a two. Yikes. We only go up one. Uh, we'll then roll these. And come on now. Come on. Let me take out those two. A four and a one. Yikes. So we only take out one of them. So we're kind of right back where we were. Uh, now we've got this going on. Mm, let's do, uh, let's try to take all four of them out. Uh, outer perimeter, let's take all three of them out. Come on. Uh, six, three, two, one. Shoot, we've only taken out two. We go up one, two. Remember, I cannot use that defensive zone again because I used it last time, and I only got one more time to use it. 
We take one damage. Not good. Here we go. Boom. We got that in again. Ah. I've got to eliminate one. Let's go to defensive zone, two outer perimeter. We're going to roll defensive zone first. Again, one on the floor. Keep them on the table. I know, I know. I could be rolling them in a tray. Here we go. Whoo! Defensive perimeter goes up two. Thank you. Let's get those out and let's take two out. Uh, two threes, but it doesn't matter because as soon as I eliminate, so I would eliminate two. That's going to take me to the max. I come back down because it's a two threes or double threes. It's DD Mouse. So there's two in here. Um, I'm going to use the eliminate all VC squads currently in the outer perimeter. Um, so my understanding is that then allows me to move up two because I've removed two of them. I think that's how that'll work. That could be an error on my part. We'll see. That will, um, mean there's no attack on the hold the line and we just will simply go to the next turn where there are two squads up here. We're going to go a little bit easy. We're going to try to jump this talk up. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get up to 7-8 and we can get close to winning. Uh, we're going to roll that. Oh, do I do that or do I try to come up here? Uh, I better shore up. I better shore up before I start bumping the talk up. Yep. All right. We're going to do defensive zone. Three and a two. It only goes up one. All right, let's take this here, and a three and a six. Excellent. One, two. We got them both. Oh, there's supposed to be three in there. Ah, ah. All right, we're going to come down one. Jeez. All right, they're going to get three. I forgot we're... No, we're still in the two squad. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, let's do that again. Um, we're bringing in two. We're going to uh, bring up the defensive zone twice. There we go. Now we're building. Now we're building. If we can take these guys out. Four and a six. Yes. One, two. These guys are gone. Of course, they'll be coming back in. Let's do this same thing one more time. Defensive zone. A six and a two. It's just going up one. Okay. And... A five and a one gets one of them, but the other one's going to get through. So we're going to take a damage. All right. And the problem is we're going to have two up here. Now we got three. Let's try to take all of them out. I don't want this to cascade four dice, three of them on the floor again. All right. Perfect. All right. So we got three hits plus these doubles. That's four. One, two, three, we're back to zero. All these are out. Um, okay, I took the outer perimeter last time. Do I go up one in the talk? Um, I can only use the defensive zone one more time. And I can only use the talk one more time. Okay, yeah, we're going to go up one in the talk. That's going to put us into three units coming up here. Um, and we're going to start, we're going to go three up here, one down here. Let's get a little wild. As long as we're doing three, we got to get this a four. That's a miss. All right, come on. Take these guys out. A five, a three, and a one. Two of them are gone. We've eliminated two. We're going to take one damage. And now we've got three units coming in, making a total of four. I'm going to pledge all four up here. That could get out of hand easy. We got a six, a five, uh, double threes. So we've eliminated four, one, two, three, four. But because of that, one of them or a new one comes back in. Uh, he's going to get through, do one damage. Mm. So we bring three on and now we're into a problem. We're into a problem. We got four again. I can bring my defensive perimeter up. I'm going to have to. I'm going to try to bring the perimeter up one and just, ah, but I'm going to have to get doubles. Let's go doubles first. Let's do the hit. 
612. Uh oh, we only got one. Uh, now we're going to roll this. At least, come on, come on, come on. Three. Yes, he goes up, but now we're going to take three. One, two, three. Holy moly. And here's the problem we're adding three to this. Whoo, we got what? Six in there. All four dice. Come on now. Come on. All four dice. This could be the end. Oh my goodness, boy, is it. So we only destroy one. We can't even get up to this bonus here. They get one. So we just lost six damage. Hold the line is over. We've been overrun. The talk is no more. All right, so final thoughts on Firebase Vietnam. First of all, I really had overlooked that it was going to be in the magazine game. Uh, I was expecting the Battle for Kursk, which of course I'll get to. It's actually getting ready to come out on my table where you saw this being played. Um, but I remember thinking, okay, we got a solitaire game. We've got some pastel art, one page rules, and it's dice rolling. But I love rolling dice. So then I thought, well, how engaging will it be? Hopefully my playthrough shows you get these interesting decisions where you're like, hmm, and I didn't even get any triples. I wish I would have got triples. Or did I get one triple? I don't think I got a triple. But when you're pledging and then when the outer perimeter gets out of control and you realize, uh-oh, <laughs> you're one bad die roll away, especially with four dice uh, from getting completely overrun. And of course, as you're, as the battle goes on and more and more are coming and you're getting closer to your support, uh, and I've, I've played this several times. That's one of the deals so fast. You can get it in. No problem. Um, what it's usually 15 ish minutes. Um, I've had them end rather spectacularly shorter than that, not from victory, but from loss. Um, and you get a feeling of accomplishment when you finally do get the support that arrives. Um, because as you're pushing further into that, it's more and more dangerous. And it can get out of control quicker and quicker. So it builds some tension inside the game. Now, it is super light. Um, that's fine. Again, I, I consider this like a lunch game. I was making some dinner and we were just waiting and I'm sitting at the table just finishing a game real quick and my kids are like what are you doing i'm like i'm i'm defending my fire base during the tet offensive in vietnam and my son was like oh okay <laughs> so and then i'm intrigued by the good to go series volume one so what is the good to go series i don't know i think i'll have to find out we'll have to talk to roger b mcgowan and maybe find out, is that a series of quick solitaire games? Are they all going to use this dice kind of format, but they're going to be in different thematic areas? Um, uh, and then I've heard it described as a war-themed game. Why aren't they all kind of, I mean, if it's war, the theme is the war. Um, yeah, you're just rolling dice, so you're not moving around on a hex grid. But did I feel like I was defending my firebase? I did. Um, am I really just rolling dice? Get the water off of there. Am I really just rolling dice and hoping to get high numbers and high doubles? Sure. Yeah. So, um, if the theme carries you in, I think it tells a story, or at least it does for me. But you will definitely know if this is your style of game or not by watching my series playthrough. So, there you go. See you guys.